Well, Will, um, how are you feeling kind of uh, back in pre-season after the break, flying along? How's your body going and how are you travelling? Yeah, really quite good actually. Um, touch wood, body's really good. Um, yeah, everyone's in really good nick. Had a really nice break over Christmas and um, yeah, right in the back of it, into the swing of things. So things are getting really busy now. Program's really really um, tough at the moment. There's a lot of volume and a lot of stuff that we're all doing. So yeah, everyone's tackling it really well. So yeah, really happy. Was there anything you needed to get sorted over the break in terms of injury-wise, any little clean-ups or anything, or were you fine? No, I was actually really lucky. So yeah, I had a really good break. Um, was able to complete full program. So yeah, yeah, really happy with how everything's going. Touch wood, it stays that way. I guess you had a, a massive year last year, um, career best for you, kind of where you hope to take your game this year, kind of how much better can you get and build off last year's success? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I've obviously got a lot of areas that I can improve on and go to another level. I feel like I've had one full season in the AFL now and, you know, I just learned so many things in that season and so many experiences that I can, you know, build on for next season. So, yeah, continuing to work on things and get better at and, um, yeah, I'm really excited for what, what can happen next year or this it, this season? Sorry, is it a better environment to be able to improve having a, a 24 game season under your belt and, and having 12 months with these teammates and coaches? Can you can you fast track a bit of the stuff that you want to work on now, having been in that, that environment? Yeah, well, I feel like over the last 12 months I've been able to you know really understand the structures and game plan and understand how my teammates play and and how I can help and yeah, just being able to I guess get more experience with with this club and these players and my teammates and you know, try and go to another level. So, um, you know, as I said, I've sort of learned so much over the last 12 months and, and I'm ready to sort of put all that, try and continue to put that together and, and go forward and get better and, and improve. What are some of the specific things that, that could help you go to the next level as a midfielder? Um, I'm, at the moment, I'm sort of working on different things, whether it's, um, you know, my intensity at which I play and the speed at which I can play the game. I feel like I've got some traits there where I can take the game on a bit more and I've shown in bits and pieces. So. Um, you know, that continue to continue to work on my midfield craft and stuff I'm working on um, with the midfield coaches. So there's just so much, um, so much areas in the game that, you know, I can get better at and improve on and just keep chipping away at it. Um, another pre-season under my belt, I think is going to be really good for my body. And um, yeah, I feel like I'm going to continue to try and build it. Yeah, go to another level. Has John Corey brought any sort of fresh ideas stepping into that midfield role? I know it was, it was development, but coming in as the main midfield coach. Has he changed anything up for you guys? Um, well, I've been able to work pretty closely with him ever since i come here. Um, obviously, as a development coach, I work really closely with him and try and learn lots of things off him. He's, he's incredible in the way he sees the game and, and the way he can coach one-on-one um, -on -one especially. So, um, yeah, I feel like I've continued that relationship with him and, and now as he's sort of stepped up, he'll have a bit more of a say on how we operate as a midfield unit. But, um, yeah, I've just really enjoyed you know, working with him and we'll continue to him and, and um, yeah, we'll see what what differences are made this season. We'll have to wait and see. Do you think it's, I guess, the group has gone up in terms of intensity this pre-season, given, you know, you went so far in finals last year and but still haven't made a grand final. Well, we have made a grand final, but haven't won a premiership. Mm. I feel like we, now that we've had a taste, I feel like um, the belief's there that we know that we're good enough to play finals and and that it's realistic to, to think that we can win it all. So. Um, you know, the hunger's there, it's a young group and, and everyone's really hungry, the intensity's up and, you know, we always come back in good nick, but, you know, sometimes um, there's a little bit more than that, you know, that intensity and that belief is there. So, yeah, we're just excited this time of year, we're, we're getting our bodies right, we're training really hard, match sim's really starting to get going. So, um, you know, it's an exciting time of the year and, and everyone's in good nick and, yeah, we'll just have to see how we go. There's a few players being managed, including Matt Tabernar, who didn't take part in the match scene the other day. Given that Rory Lobb's gone now, is, is he being wrapped in cotton wool, I guess, given he's so important as a, as a forward? Um, well, Tabs is definitely really important to us. Um, his best foot is showing how good it is and how important he is to us. So, you know, his program is, is specific to him and what he's managing and what his loads are at the moment. So, um, you know, have to speak to him about that. But yeah, he's in he's in good nick. He's in he's building really well, um, and he's going to be important for us this year. So hopefully, you know, come round round one, he'll be he'll be flying. That midfield group, like it's so deep now that you've added uh, Jager as well. You've obviously lost David. Uh, you've lost you've added Jager, Neil Erasmus, and Matthew Johnson are both kind of flying through the preseason. I look how hard is it going to be to fit kind of all these guys, and how competitive is it going to be for spots in the middle this year? 
Yeah, I think it's great um, that competition's there. We're all pushing each other really hard. Um, you know, match sims have been full on, full noise, and, you know, we're really getting after it. So, you know, Jag has come in. Obviously, um, losing Dave was pretty pretty big hit to the midfield. But, um, yeah, having Jag come in and, and Neil and Matt Johnson just, you know, training really well and building and getting better in there another year under their belt. So I think it's really exciting how we're able to just push each other to, to continue to get better. And, um, you know, that competition is really healthy. Have you learned anything from Jago since he's been here? Have you picked his brain much off? A little bit, yeah. He's, um, he's really professional in, in the way he goes about. He's been in the system a long time and um, he's played some consistently good footy. So, um, yeah, he, he works really hard. He's, he puts his head down and, and gets the work, leads, leads by example in a way. So. Um, yeah, he, he's been one that's fitted in perfectly and one that's, yeah, been good to have around the group. Without Lol, obviously you've got to change the way he's delivering to the forward line, given he was such a focal target last year. With Fife down there like that, does that change any of the structures going forward? Um, we're definitely working on our um, forward connection a bit this year. Um, I'm not sure how much that'll change, but there's, we've got some really good options down there. We've got some good depth down there. We've got some big fellas. Um, still down there, so um, yeah, we feel like we'll be able to have good targets to hit, kick the ball, kick the ball to as well. So um, you know, we feel like we're going to continue to work in that area and connecting, um, going inside fifty. But um, yeah, I still think there's some great targets for us to look for. What about um, Luke Jackson? He was pretty impressive in the match sim. Can you see why they call him the unicorn after <laughs> that, that on Friday? Yeah, no, he's been he's been awesome. Um, yeah, he's he's quite unique in a way that he plays and. Um, yeah, we're still adapting to how he plays and, and trying to understand the way he moves and stuff. It is a little bit unique. So, yeah, it's really exciting to see what he can do. He's fitted in really well. He's, he's still learning the, the game plan and structures. He hasn't been here um, all that. Well, he hasn't been here that much. So, um, yeah, it's exciting to see what he can do for us. He's going to be a good asset for us. Can you change the way that you guys play as midfielders? You mentioned wanting to, I guess, be a bit quicker and play the game quicker yourself. Can you do that with Luke as a ruckman? Well, I think what he offers is quite different to the to Sean. Obviously, um, they're both really high quality ruckmen and and players, but they're both quite different in the way they play. So I think if we can say sort of adapt to each each ruckman that we have in, then you know it might give us different looks and give the opposition different looks each time. So um, yeah, I think in time we'll we'll um, figure out the best way to do it. But it is exciting that we have that flexibility with him. He he obviously provides something different for us. So I think that is exciting. Well, for you, this time last year, you were sort of coming to a new environment. People sort of didn't know what to expect from you and never seen you in a full season. How does that feel for you? Does it feel any different for you this time of the year? Um, not really. Um, you know, I'm still working on areas in the game that I'm trying to get better at. Um, you know, working with my teammates, especially in that midfield unit, we're trying to help each other get better. And um, so, yeah, I feel like, you know, I feel like I've got a bit more experience under my belt now. I've played a few more games, but, you know, I feel like I've still got plenty to prove and plenty to to work on and plenty more to give and a whole new level to get to, so.